Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Princess of Aesthetically Princess and today we're playing Animal Crossing. If you don't know, um, a few days ago, a few last month, last month I did a look at my island before I would start terraforming and I actually really like the idea of playing Animal Crossing again. So today we're going to be going through my island as of current. This is your new monthly Animal Crossing update. This is just very random. I actually kind of, and I've been enjoying playing Animal Crossing over the past few maybe months that I have. My life isn't like dedicated to Animal Crossing or anything, but I do play it at least like twice a day. I play in the mornings and then my Switch dies and then I play again later at night. It's pretty fun. I enjoyed it past this time, especially when I like am trying to get away from something that I want to, I need to be doing, but I don't feel like doing because I am lazy. Um, but especially recently with everything going on, this is a great escape. Uh, so let's go look at my island as a current. Yay! Into the video. Enjoy the voiceover. Okay guys, time to get into the tour. Gotta pass through all of Isabel's morning announcements, even though I don't really have one. Sorry about that sound of the glasses. So, I've been playing Animal Crossing for a few months now, I'm gonna say, maybe two or three months, and I actually have actually been working really hard on this island. I have seen so many people's cool terraformings, and usually I just watch uh, terraforming videos when I play, because it, number one, helps pass the time, and number two, I can hear something, and number three, it gives you a lot of really good inspiration. I have random things that I got a lot of inspiration from. Um... I think one of my favorite things about this game is just being able to customize my character so much yet also being able to you know get what else like inspirate not only just things from other people but also just you know all like the cool ideas and seeing other people and being able to really connect on something so cool this is like so much fun to me <laughs> so first things first is up first things first is my house actually um my house the first thing i wanted to do about my living room area is that i wanted it to seem like a garden of some sorts <laughs> of some sort my bad i wanted it to seem like an indoor greenhouse like my living room to be just a whole greenhouse because that's like one of the things i would love about my own house is for me to be living in like a small greenhouse I don't know why I'm horrible with plants, but I just love the idea of it. And if I could ever accomplish that, I would love to. A lot of the stuff I ended up trading for, um, especially like this arched window wall, I saw and I was like, I have to have that like in my home. Uh, I think my favorite thing about this living room area it has to be like the simplicity yet the clutter of it because it's like there's big space right here, but yet there's so much room to just keep putting plants nonstop. I think I have most of the plants in the game, not all of them. Next is the closet slash sewing room. Now, I actually, one of my biggest dreams for my own home is to have just a room with just my clothes in it. Why? Because I just have a lot of clothes. Um, I like the idea of it being pink. I was initially going to have it be pink and I was going to have the, um, what's it called? The, what is it? Um, the cute the the cute furniture the cute furniture like with all the little sweet hearts and stuff all over it this was going to be like a cute furniture room but then I didn't like the look so I was like I'm just gonna go with pink accessories in like a white-ish room um most of the outfits that I keep wearing for my character are things that like I literally just you know found on Twitter um if you follow me on Twitter and ask me for something I will totally like give you the um the link I guess the yeah the code because I save all the things that I that get put into my home um <laughs> well that may sound weird but it's, it's, it's really not um nothing too crazy uh when I started playing this game I had a different idea for this house but as I started playing it more I was like I know exactly what I'm going to do um I really like my character. I know I don't really have blue hair in in real life, but I've had blue hair and it has been one of my favorite colors on me. So I like to keep with the blue hair theme because like I said, it's one of my favorite things that I've ever worn on my personal body. And of course you can see the tiara hair. I have to stick with like my theme. Also, this is in fact one of my usual outfits. I also wear like 
the sweet dress, you know, the white dress with the angel wings on the back, the little bubble gum in my mouth, and usually just the black Mary Janes and the my princess hair. Favorite outfit. I finally got a wand, by the way. <laughs> so, just best believe I'm about to fill that wand up. Uh, my next room in this house. <coughs> sorry a little sick is my little wish room i am so excited about this room um again if you are looking for any of these little like the things on the walls are supposed to be little portion boards i actually really like it um i might change it up um i have those two dresses are also uh made by somebody else uh so if you ask me for them i can give you the uh code for them one is the dress for wednesday and the other is a bisexual little witch's dress with the, the, the bisexual moon on the front uh so i just had to i could like not do it what am i doing oh looking through stuff that i need to go put down because this room is my bathroom um i don't have a bedroom yet i want to make one upstairs so probably by the end of this month i'll have, be able to begin on the making of my character's bedroom um I'm actually really excited about this entire room to be finished. I've already changed the uh, the colors of the walls, but I just wanted a color that was not like the default color of the wall. I'm still looking for a bunch of stuff, so if you ever are like, hey, I have this and this and this and this that I think you would like, just, you know, follow me on Twitter because that's where I post like anytime I have um, things I want to get rid of or sometimes I have a bunch of Nook Miles tickets and I don't need them so I'll be like hey I'm selling Nook Miles tickets for this much if you really want them just let me know uh what else um if you're ever willing to trade me anything that I might need I'm also still on Twitter so like I said follow me on Twitter uh and then we can eventually I guess link up and bring over anything that you may need or I might need I'm still not finished with this room. I still need like a toilet and I'm going to add like another chair and then get some wall stuff. But so far, I really like the bathroom. Okay, we're done with the in-house tour. It's been a minute, but time to get out of the house. Time to go into the outside world. Now, I have a good amount of vid. I have all of my villagers and I love every single one of my villagers. I don't care how ugly people might think they are. This is like just a little seating area and this is my, those are all the DIYs that I have left over. This leads to like my garden area where I plant my money trees and then have started to begun, to begin the, uh, some of the propagating of flowers. So I'm getting some different flower variations. And then I put my turnips over there. I overslept, so I couldn't get turnips on that Sunday. Usually I have an alarm that I set for me to wake the hell up, but uh, seeing as I did, decided just not to, couldn't happen. I'm just a hop and a skip away from all of my villagers. First up is Kid Cat, because I think he's one of my favorites. I like to give him stuff. I like to give him like workout stuff, because it, I don't know why, but it interests me so much. Um, next up is Miss Gwen because she's just such a cute penguin and she's like my town old lady. It's great. I love her. <laughs> love it so much. This house is Sylvia's. Sylvia, Kid Cat, and Cranston were my first ever villagers. I wasn't very lucky in like the cute idea of villagers, but I love them all so very much. There's Kid Cat house. This is just a back area. I don't have anything that I need to add. I don't have any ideas for this yet. Uh, but it does lead down to my secret beach, which I'm not finished with I, quite yet. So still a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, that's a bunch of the stuff that I have currently. So if you're ever looking for that, those things, I'm probably going to post a picture of stuff I'm getting rid of to this day on Friday. Um, then there's Cranston's house, who I, like I said, I adore very much. I'm going inside all my houses so I can find a DIY because I will take all DIYs. And my baby is sick. <laughs> Eventually, I will bring her medicine. I did a pretty, I think I brought her medicine after I finished playing for you guys or giving you guys a tour. can't remember. Uh, but I did bring end up bringing her medicine because if you bring your character's medicine, you usually end up, you know, getting whatever you need. <laughs> Next up is... 
Colton's house. There's Colton. He's annoying, but I adore him. Oh, yay. This is actually one of my favorite villagers. This is Maggie. Maggie is a sweet, sweet, angelly pig. I really, want, I really kind of want more of a pig villager. She won't, she tried to leave me once and I was like, absolutely not. I don't like if any of my villagers leave because Miss Gwen would not be here if Apple did not leave because the Apple proceeded to dip on me and I wanted to make her stay, but randomly enough, I wasn't able to. I'm still sad about that. It still kind of hurts. So I got a new fruit villager. Her name is Tangy. I will always miss Apple. She was my favorite villager, but now I have a new favorite and it is Tia, who you will meet momentarily. Also, guys, if you like I said, if you need anything or if you ever see anything that you like might need when I post pictures, just follow me on Twitter. It's just all. I also regularly regularly sell <laughs> Nook Miles tickets because I just do all the what's it called? The Nook Miles the tasks, the tasks, I do the tasks every day. When I'm bored I'll play the game and like do all the tasks. Well, this has been my little villager area. I'd like to have all of my villagers in one area. It makes it easier from looking for like, you know, DIYs and stuff. This is my, kind of my little campsite setup. I little ha I have my campsite over there. I have the sign, picnic table, and I had a little, you know, bonfire area. This is my little heart lake. I love coming over here to look for koi fish. I'm still looking for more koi fish so that I can finish, so I can have the models. That's supposed to be my library. I'm not quite finished with that yet, of course. Now it is time to come over here. This is just kind of like a lookout area. Um, I love this little sign. I found it on Twitter. This I'm not finished with yet either. I'm probably going to do like a forest tea party kind of theme. This is the park, the little rose park. I just like the roses in the game. I don't actually like roses, but yeah. This here is my, kind of my, what's it called? market area i actually really like my little market area i like having all of everything where i need it because as soon as i get one thing i'm like definitely got that so now i can leave um i needed this table so it had to come with me it didn't really get a choice um again i like having all of my places like within one area I always check my wallpapers just in case I see something that I might want for any of my other rooms because I have plans to put the kitchen downstairs and my bedroom upstairs. So if I can go ahead and have stuff getting done, I just mean, I mean, it makes my life so much easier. Anyways, moving on. I actually come here very often while in game because I like shopping. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've left Nooks, and this over here is supposed to be like my very own little food court area. I actually found a bunch of this stuff. Of I found the idea on someone else's page. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with this as of yet. I'll figure it out eventually. Um, this is supposed to be a little side beach eating area. I have not finished putting all of my chairs up, and I really need the coconut, the... The coconut drink uh, DIY. There is my beautiful baby, Abel Sisters. I have leaf on my island that day, and usually I just save up all of my weed so I can sell them to them. This is my entrance area that I love very, 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 very much with my little cherry trees. It's not finished quite yet. I want to put some more stuff, probably some benches over there, add in some more roses, hopefully some blue roses when I f finally fear them out. Up here is, I really like the idea of the imp Imperial Furniture, so I kind of just made myself a little restaurant. Over here is like the food area, and then over here is like tea. <laughs> I could not have like an area for tea anywhere on my island. It made me sad not to have one. I kind of want to put like the like f cooking area right there. Then it's a hop and a skip over to the outside 
bathhouse. Um, I love this. I'm not even gonna lie. I think this is one of my favorite areas on my island. I just like the way it looks. I finally was able to finish doing that uh, incline. I used the uh, steel, the red steel st uh, steps. Bruh. I am currently growing all of the blue orchids and pink roses so that I can have like a beautiful colorful path. Over here is my mom's uh, place. My mom, my little brother, and my little sister are all playing. Uh, my little sister hasn't gotten into the game yet, but she's like, hey, could you start me on the game? I'll let you have free reign of my house. And I was like, yeah, of course I will. Um, over here, I'm not quite sure what I was going to make it be. I'm not even sure what this thought was, but it's still a thought. <laughs> There's my baby Tangi. Uh, Tangy, my bad. I always call her Tangy on accident. Tangy. Um, I'm not quite sure what this beach area was supposed to be. I'll figure it out eventually. Um, but I do like the little circles that laid over to it. I want to drop some shells around here. Uh, over here is my little rainbow garden area. I'm not finished quite yet because, you know, I don't have all the flowers that I want to be rainbow. Here is my cute little beach. It's a very big area. <laughs> not quite sure what I'm going to be doing with this beach either. I'm really confused on the beaches, uh, but I do like this area. I like the hearts and everything, little seating areas. Um, I'm planning to put all of my little butterflies. I want a few more butterflies on these circles, so eventually I will have a large amount of butterflies just walk, just like decorating this corner of my island. I just need Flick to come back so I can get more. I have a little balloon fighter over here. And I have a little beach sitting area up here. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to finish this area. I just need to figure out what this area is supposed to be. <laughs> but I do love my little garden. I try and I come over, I try and go over here every day so I can be able to, you know, water my flowers, all of my purple roses and stuff. Probably going to pick up flowers soon and start putting them in the back so I can finish, you know, <clears throat> getting all the variations of colors. So I can keep going with this rainbow thing, my guy. Next on the tour is back here in this little weird spot over here is supposed to be a metal pottery area. Excuse me while I get the beautiful butterfly. But over here is supposed to be like a little pottery area and like little market area. I love it because I'm supposed to be putting a incline right here so that I can like be cuter. We need things to be cuter in life. This is one of those things. I'm not quite finished with this yet. I still have a bunch of stuff to get. But eventually I will get it done. Eventually is eventually. I have a little waterfall area right here because I just thought it was cute. That is like the only reason I just thought the waterfall was cute. Little tiny library, little seating area. And we're done over here. We're actually almost done with this entire tour. I'm so excited. I'm so tired. I like the little circles. I like that you can make little paths into circles. So it uh, it, it makes me very happy. My museum is a focal point of that little marketplace area. And I love it so much. I currently live on a little tiny orchid. <laughs> I love this. I love having like the plants, the um, fruit trees like right outside of my house. And I have, I love having the roses that lead up to like the front porch. <laughs> this little skipping path I'm not quite finished with. I want to put um, the, the mum's chairs, little mum's chairs uh, into the water. But you know, I don't have those yet. So that's gonna have to wait. Eventually I will put an incline over here the incline for this area is supposed to be this is supposed to be like the fruit stand area because I have like my orchid over there you skip over here you can you know buy like a smoothie or something I was not expecting my country to come out that bad I apologize um but eventually eventually this will be a better area I'm actually pretty excited for this for like what it's supposed to look like at the end when I'm done with it Time to skip and hop back home. <laughs> okay. Now, 
that we skipped and hopped back home. <laughs> uh, I have a little area, this little beach area. I like I said, I don't know quite, don't quite what know what to do with the beach areas. So if anyone can leave any like inspiration down below, I really appreciate it. Cause like I said, I'm just a little bit confuzzled. I have started working on my little dock area. I've like put like a chair and a few things up here recently. Uh, Cause at first I was like, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this dock. I just know I want to put this little blankie over here. Over here is a little, you know, rocky pool area. I like this was an idea that immediately came to me when I saw like the rocks and stuff. So this is over here. I'm going to put a little rock garden over here as well. I feel like I need to smack all of my rocks so I can finally get them into one area. But you know, I don't care enough. I like searching my island for all of my rocks. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> I have one singular tropical tree. I have a little picnic area in my little area with all of my roses that lead up to my home. I like having this picnic area underneath the tree. It's actually really cute. Um, up here is my, what is going to be like just a plant area. It's just like an outside garden. I'm not quite finished with her yet, but I didn't know what to do with this little peninsula. So I was like, what if I <laughs> made it into just a little plant area? like a and you have to like you don't have a choice but to use a ladder to get up there <laughs> and this is where I usually sit when I have like anything that needs to be done with stars I usually take a seat over here stare at the sky with my telescope I'm not finished with this area yet I haven't really been getting a lot of stars it's a recent I don't really play a lot at night <laughs> I have other things that need to be done at night like sleeping I do love all the white furniture in the game though makes it so much prettier well guys we're gonna take one look at my map as of current all of my little characters guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and a like um i'm gonna try and do these at least once a month um if you like i said if you like this give it a thumbs up if you have any ideas leave them link down if you have any ideas leave them in the comments down below and if you want to trade with me or ever come onto my island be able to follow me on twitter which is linked down below with all the rest of my beautiful social media and i will see you next time which will probably be monday thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye